What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this lovely update video. Come on through. So we bought this property a week and a half ago. Look at the progress already. We got brand new vinyl flooring throughout. Everything's been painted, walls, ceiling. It smells fantastic in here. It smells like a brand new home. So as you guys can see here, we have about 1400 square feet of flooring. We paid around a buck 99 a square foot. You guys can do the math there, but this is the same flooring I used in my previous project in Fort Erie. If you haven't watched it yet, make sure you go back and check it out. We got some nice new modern lamps in here. A little bit of shavings from the vinyl, but guys, does this property look better? It definitely smells better. Look how updated this is. This is all in a week and a half. We've only owned this property for a week and a half. And we're gonna be done probably in our seven days. Now, the best part about this is the bathroom. You walk into here, take a deep breath because you don't smell anything in here anymore. This looks brand new. We still have to put the toilet in. We still gotta put this back together. But guys, look at this bathroom. Look at it, updated. This whole thing right here probably costed less than 500 bucks. Flooring, new toilet, a new faucet, that's it. 500 bucks, probably less than that. So this is the main floor, one bedroom unit. You can switch around there and there's the bedroom. Again, flooring's all done. There's a couple of small minor cuts we gotta do, but tomorrow, all the trim goes back on, the quarter round. Guys, would you live in this? Right here, beautiful apartment, isn't it? So this is apartment number one, like I said. This right here is gonna get barricaded in, fireproof, safe and sound insulation, so that this is a fire barrier. But we're keeping it open right now because we still have to bring some stuff upstairs too. And I'm gonna let you walk up first so you can see the progress we have on the unit number two. As you guys can see, majority of this apartment is completely drywalled. It's completely mudded. About 60% of it has already been painted. So right now we just haven't painted this section up here. Obviously, because we're waiting for the mud to dry. It'll be dry tomorrow. It'll get a quick sand and then the paint will go on. And then once the paint's done, flooring. Flooring is gonna take another two days. The kitchen's coming in about three days. Countertops are already there. Guys, in three weeks, this whole place is gonna be done and ready to rent out for top dollar rents. Now up here is where majority of the work happened because obviously we knocked out this wall. If you guys remember from the first video, there was walls here, so we completely opened it up. So we ripped out all of this. We're obviously gonna have to put all new flooring. We have to do some patchwork there. And then, if you guys remember, the kitchen's going here. So. This whole thing up here, this unit will probably cost around five to $6,000 if you include labor, you include cabinets, and you include the flooring, maybe a little bit more. Um, but altogether, guys, to spend five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000, this is gonna rent for around $1,500 a month, maybe a little bit more. And another good tip for everybody is to make sure that you have proper insulation. So you guys might see these bags of insulation lying around. These are all going in the attic. Just that alone will drastically reduce your heating costs. And that's something you wanna do, especially if heat is all inclusive in your building. You wanna make sure that you spend, honestly, that was probably about 500 bucks for nine bags of insulation, but it's gonna save me hundreds, or if not thousands of dollars in the future. So quick tip for you guys, new real estate investors, always make sure that you have proper insulation up in the attic. It's gonna reduce your overall utility costs. So there you guys, there's unit one and there's unit two. Let's go back down to the basement where we had a nasty plumbing issue. Come on, come check it out. So here we are in the basement apartment. You're gonna see some, obviously some patchwork has to happen here. All we did is we moved the switch to here. It was way up there for some reason. So we brought it down here, obviously you walk in, you wanna make sure you have lights, it's up to code, that's the way you want it. Now I know that there's no smell of vision, but the smell is getting better in here. And you might be wondering, what is in my hand? For an experienced real estate investor or renovator, 
You know what that is. That's cast iron. Right there, that's what you do not want to see when you have plumbing. And the reason, the only thing that destroys cast iron is cast iron itself. It rots away and come in here. So believe it or not, this was sitting in here and we kept getting this sewer sort of smell. I knew that there was a leak in here somewhere. And what my contractor did this morning was wiggle this and this whole thing popped off. So this has been rotted for God knows how long. And this was the problem because all the sewer gas was leaking into this apartment and you could smell. It didn't matter how many um, candles I put in here, how much the windows were open, it still smelled like sewer gas. So what we were able to do was we busted up the concrete, we then replaced it with new plumbing. We even put a clean out in here. So if there is future problems, we can put a camera down there to see what the issue is. And honestly, it was two bags of concrete, 10 bucks, some plumbing, another 20 bucks, and some labor for my contractor. This was an easy fix, which could have got a lot worse. But again, for you newbie real estate investors, this is why you don't want cast iron. It ease, over time, it starts to disintegrate and you're gonna get plumbing issues. So most time, what people do is they'll cut it off and then they'll replace from there up. Well, that's exactly what they did and look what happened. It rotted through. So that's just a quick tip for you guys. You wanna make sure that cast iron is out of your building or at least it's done properly so that you don't have this issue. As you guys can see, the backsplash is up. We still have to grout it. And finally, that just looks like a wall, but there is a egress window going in there that is delayed right now due to current pandemic we are in, but a beautiful new egress window will be going in there. The hole's dug, so it's just a matter of getting the cutter here to actually place the window in. So besides the window going in, which is going to be taking place next week, this unit's pretty much done now. Now that we've found out where the smell's coming from and that's fixed and it's fixed correctly, we can now start advertising this unit and getting it ready for rent. So probably in the new year, I will start having people come through, look at the apartment, and then hopefully by mid to end January, I find a suitable candidate and then we can get this basement apartment rented. So there you go, guys. This is unit one, two, and three. In a week and a half, this is what we've done. We've painted the entire house practically. We've put new flooring down on 50% of the house. We've done backsplash. We fixed these types of issues all in a week and a half. Strategic planning is very key as a real estate investor. So make sure that you get all your trades lined up before the property closes. So then it's a nice, easy transition. Everything goes smoothly throughout the process. So right now it's a little bit dark outside, but something that a lot of you know that I'm familiar with are foundation cracks. And on the opposite side of this wall, it's probably about right around here, so where the new window's going, there is a foundation crack. And we discovered it after closing. Um, there's no evidence of water damage, but since we're putting a window there anyway, we decided to fix it. We fixed this ourselves by using Sika. Um, it's a quick mortar repair. And what it is, and it's an epoxy, you inject it into the crack, and then you put hydraulic cement over it. That should stop any potential water coming through. So again, we're still running into issues. We're still finding foundation cracks. We're still finding these sort of things. But as a real estate investor, you have to be ready and you have to always remember that things are gonna come up. So you might be thinking, oh, I'm gonna buy this property, it's gonna be smooth, easy process. Something's always gonna come up. I knew this project was going way too smooth for nothing to happen. And sure enough, foundation crack, plumbing issues. This is what stuff you gotta plan for. This is where having a emergency fund set aside or properly budgeting and not stretching yourself too thin on the buy will definitely save you. Because honestly, I'm probably gonna be around four to $5,000 over budget on this. Um, just cause there's some things I added. There's some foundation repairs. There's a little bit extra cost for plumbing. So stuff like that, you just wanna make sure that you have enough money set aside because things will happen, especially for those rookie real estate investors. If you're putting all your money towards a down payment and closing cost and you got nothing left, what happens if something like this happens and you don't have a good contractor to fix it and you have to, and someone charges you $1,000 to fix this, which honestly, 
Probably some plumbers might do that. You just wanna make sure that you have enough money set aside. So there you go, everybody. There is a renovation update of my three unit property here in Welland, Ontario. I hope you got value from this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel, click the like button and click that notification bell. That way you get notified for more renovation update videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.